Hey, what's up? My name is Spencer, and today I've got another vintage product for you. It's the Samsung DVD VCR combo recorder. It's even got an HDMI output on the back, so you're gonna be able to watch VHS movies on your smart TV. A lot of older VCRs aren't compatible with those. Plus, this machine is gonna allow you to dub your VHS tapes onto DVD, and it is a very simple process. This is everything that you'll get in your package. You'll get your DVD VCR, a manual so you know how to use it, an HDMI cable to set it up in a modern way, and then your original remote control for it. This is going to be your front panel on it. Right here you've got a door that you can open up and inside of it you have a DV input to directly connect a camera or a composite audio video input for connecting just about any other compatible device. And then you've got your power button right there, DVD eject, VHS eject, and then the DVD VCR switch, and then dubbing to DVD and to VHS. And then you've got your record button if you want to start recording whatever you're watching. It allows you to do that. And then you've got channel and rewind, and then stop, play, pause, and channel up and fast forward. And then on the rear panel of it, you've got your HDMI output right there, and then set top box control. That's for connecting it to a cable box. Then you've got an audio video input that's going to be for recording with another device. And then AV output, that's going to be your lowest quality picture and it's going to do DVD and VHS. And then you've got audio and component video output and digital audio coaxial. And this was manufactured in January of 2011 and it was made in Indonesia. So now that you've seen all that, let's go ahead and get it plugged into a TV and I'll show you everything that it does. So we've got our TV and on the side of it right here, it's got an HDMI input. We're gonna connect our included cable right there and then the other end of it is going to go into the HDMI output on the VCR. Now that we've got that connected, we're gonna go ahead and plug in our power cable Everything is plugged in and now you should be able to turn on your TV and the Samsung and get a picture on the TV. We'll need to change the input to HDMI. And then now we've got a picture right there. so. I've got a DVD right here to show you the DVD playback because this can be used as a normal player or it can be used as a recorder. As you can see right here, we've got the DVD playing back. And then I'm also going to put in a VHS tape and rewind it. Now that the tape is rewound, I'm gonna show you the very cool thing that this device does. It's gonna be recording VHS onto DVD and it's really easy. So the tape's rewound. We're now gonna put in a recordable disc in the DVD tray. So this machine is gonna be awesome because it's compatible with just about every single disc format that there is because you're gonna to have to choose from plus and minus R, RW, and RAM discs. I've got a Sony DVD plus R right here, but just about any DVD should work on it. But you gotta also look out because some of them, some of the discs can be expired and if they are, they're not gonna work with your machine. So let's go ahead and put that one in. Once the disc is loaded, you can take the remote control and push the two DVD button at the very bottom. And then now it's gonna rewind the tape a few seconds and then it's gonna hit play and then start recording onto the disc. So 
So everything that you see in here right here is going to be what is being recorded onto the DVD. The recording will stop when you either push the stop button on the remote or when the disc is full. And I'll go over in a moment how you know when the disc is full and how to adjust the settings on it. All right, so it is stopping and it's saving all the information to the disk. Once it's done there, we can finalize it. And you definitely need to finalize the disk. If you do not finalize it, it's not gonna play back in other devices. So to do that, we're gonna make sure that we're on the DVD side of the device. And then we're gonna enter the menu and then go down to disk setting and then do disk finalize. And then that'll just take a minute, and when it's done, you can take it out and play it in other players. The disc is now finalized, and it is ready for playback, so you can watch it right here if you want to. This is the final product of what you just recorded. So you've seen the most important feature, but let's go ahead and look at all the other little features that it has, because they are gonna be very useful. So it does have an easy setup option. What you have to do is with it in stop mode, press the menu button on the remote and go down to setup and then you're going to select easy setup. So we're going to do English. Do you want to control your set top box with this controller? Um, no, we'll put no. And then you can set the date and time whatever time it is, you can set it in right there. It's going to assume it's 2008 because that's when it, it's about when you would have been setting it to normally. Select your screen type. I set it to whichever one is appropriate for your TV. It might automatically adjust it anyways. So now you saw how to set the time. All you have to do is go to easy setup could also change it otherwise if you wanted to. So let's take a look at all of the options that we have here. We've got your timer, so you can set a timer on there to begin recording your show if you have it connected to a cable box. And then dubbing, you've got simple dubbing for VHS to DVD or DV slash D8 dubbing. That's gonna be through a camera. And then all of these setup options, you can change the video, you can change the resolution. It is gonna go up to 1080p, which is gonna be the best quality that you can get. And then you've got black level, you can turn that on or off. Picture control, you can change that from dynamic one, two, cinema one or two, or personal, you can do a custom one. And then you've got audio settings. You can turn, you can adjust the settings on the digital output. You can change the audio for the HDMI. Surround sound, you can turn that on or off. And this does also have parental settings, so Let's take a look at what that means. We're going to push the menu button, go down to setup, and then select options, and then select parental. So right here you can create a password. So we'll go ahead and just do 0000. zero, zero, zero. And then you can adjust the rating level right here. So you can set it to level anywhere from level one to level eight, depending on what you want to block. So if, if you want it for just kids movies, you'll set it to level one. Adult movies, you would set it to level eight, or you can just have it off. If ever you forget your password, you can always reset it. And to do that, you need to remove the disc and press and hold the channel up and down button on the front panel for 10 seconds or more. 
the tray opens and the password reverts to factory settings. So another really cool feature that this has is it's called STB pass-through. What that allows is for you to have your cable box connected to this and you can still watch cable TV without needing this to be on because it will pass the signal through to your TV and that way you can only have one of the devices on and you don't need to put this one to work just to watch your TV. And it looks like for the DVD function, you're gonna have the option of slow motion play, which is gonna be great for editing or just reviewing recordings if you wanted to. And for the tape function, you've got frame advance, which allows you to play frame by frame by pushing the pause button. And then it's also got FPS or review. And what that means is if you want to do picture search, you can set it to advance the tape forward or backward two, three, five, or seven times the normal search speed. So you can get very specific with how fast you want it to go. And then the recordable discs that you can use for this machine are going to include pretty much all of the formats, DVD, RAM, minus RW, minus R, plus R, and plus RW. And then it does have a bunch of different record modes. You've got HQ or high quality mode, which is gonna fit approximately one hour of recording onto it. And then you've got HSP, which is gonna fit an hour and a half about. And then SP will do two hours. LSP will be two and a half hours. ESP will be three hours. LP will be four hours. EP will be six hours and SLP will be eight hours. And that is gonna be on a standard 4.7 gigabyte recordable disc. So that was pretty much all the basics from the manual. This device is really awesome and easy to use. It's gonna be definitely one of the best DVD VCRs that you can get. It's got all of the options that you need. It's even got extra options that you may or may not use. You can connect it to your cable television to use it for further purposes than just VHS to DVD conversion. Or you can play back your old VHS movies with it. But if you're looking to order one of these, make sure you get it from us. And you can either call to order or you can order online. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please leave a like and subscribe.